General, thank you so much for joining us at IAVs this year. Could you start by providing us a bit of a, a background as to Sweden's current progress uh, amongst its um, uh, midlife upgrades for its uh, armoured vehicle fleet? Well, to put, put it in context first, uh, it was not that long ago some thought that tanks was not needed on the battlefield. And uh, now we have learned again that we need the tanks and we need them together with our infantry fighting vehicles. So we need the Leopards and the CV-90s in combined uh, arms on the ground together. And what we do now is that we will have a, I would say, gradual modular upgrade of firepower, protection and sensors and try to combine that the best way all the time. And uh, particularly now it's sensors and uh, CIS equipment. So that's the formation you have for the future. Um, how are you actually perceiving the threat environment as it stands and to what degree will lessons from Afghanistan and, and previous operations be applicable to the future environment? I think we will have a lot of valid lessons still from Afghanistan. Uh, because many of the threats that we face there are still in the future, be it IEDs or be in small attacks uh, and so forth. But also we need to remember that when, even though we had very tough fights in Afghanistan, usually we did not face the threat from the air, from the enemy, nor from his artillery. But we need, as we saw from the lessons learned from Ukraine, that the opponent can use already combined UAVs to detection with indirect fire and precision guided munition to take out big units that are not maneuvering, that are not uh, camouflage itself from different wavelengths, meaning cyber, w, um, electronic warfare, it will all be in place. And I think then being able to fight in brigade task groups is again what we need to relearn in all the aspects of the fight. You mentioned a number of technologies in your presentation for the next 20 or 30 years, from UGVs to active camouflage. Um, what do you think will be the most disruptive technology and how are you making efforts to progress to those levels of advancement uh, in a more rapid way? I think that uh, we need to be more agile in not waiting for the disruptive technology all to appear in a, in a defined context. I think we need to see what's already available. And already available is, for instance, UAVs. That's a game changer. It will be needed, I think, on all levels, from squad level up to the highest level. Um, combining then users from uh, air forces, land forces, and, uh, and the Navy, of course. Automization, in a broad sense, I don't see that we will have in the nearest future maybe uh, no troops in our vehicles, but we can combine a loyal wingman maybe, and we can have better, uh, let's say, fighting power of the soldiers we have if they don't need to drive while sitting in the car. Um, so, automization, 3D print printing. UAVs, automation and 3D printing I see is already there and we need to be able to combine that with what we already have and camouflage. That's a long list, but yeah, of course... But it's already there. It's already there. There's a lot to discuss, of course, at this event and already we've seen two days uh, full of discussions on these subjects. But what value do you get you personally from this event um, for your work? Well, Whenever I go to a similar conference, and this is, of course, very focused for a chief of army uh, guy who can see things particularly focused on the land domain. And what I always take away is that it's a lot of things out there that quite often I do not really, didn't know even. So I go away awarely more known about what I didn't know. Uh, but it also brings me to the conclusion that I think we generals, seniors, need to be more in connection with each other and say, why did you take this decision to upgrade this and that at that time? So maybe we can learn from each other and have, let's say, interoperability of minds so that we can be ahead of the development of a possible opponent. We're very glad to be a part of that. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you for having us.